the best SEO plugins and themes for 2024. So this video, what I will be covering is the best, at least in my opinion, <laughs> plugins for SEO in 2024. And this will also include themes and builders. Now, I have to let you know up front, there's no affiliate links. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies at all. This is just themes and plugins that myself and my team love to utilize. Now, these themes and these plugins are geared for SEO and getting generally the best outcome we possibly can with the tools that we have access to inside the CMS WordPress. So my name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. That's the only thing you'll ever hear me promoting right? Like I promote myself and my services. There's no affiliate links. There's no affiliation. These tools I love. These are tools that we use. Let's get into it. So I get asked, I, I just want to mention this too, as I go down, you know, services and, and consultation, I'll, let's get this out of the way. But I get asked about the plugins and the themes every single year. Hey, Chris, what do you use? What do you want to do? And, and, you know, I'm always distant to do this because it's it's not that anything that I show you is better than anything else. It's just stuff that I've came across in the last decade that I love, that we like to use, that my team likes to use. All right. I, I, I don't want to single out, but I will give my opinion about other things that I see out there, such as, you know, how many times have you seen a build, right, that's Astra theme with Elementor? I've seen that so many times. And is that the most optimal thing? You, you know, so these are the, in my opinion, no. These are the types of things that I'll give my opinion on, but that doesn't mean that I haven't seen great setups and gorgeous websites utilizing that theme and that uh, plugin slash builder combination. I have, <laughs> you know, like I've seen great builds, but it's not for me. I think that it's relatively slow. I like stuff to load fast. I like it to be good for SEO. I don't like it to be clunky. I don't like it to be um, like such as Yoast, where I buy one thing and then I need to I need to purchase 9,000 more extensions in order to add on, in order to have a complete package, right? And and then on top of it, it's bloated, it's software. If you do, it's it's bloaty, right? It's always like promoting within the tool. And then if I delete it, it's still there in the code. It's like that tool is not for me. Now I know a lot of people that love Yoast. I don't like it. I think it's bloated. I think they pitch a lot. They're always upselling. It's not for me, right? A plugin that I do like to utilize. And again, this is my opinion. This is what we like. There's no affiliate links. So something that I do like is SEO press. I'll go ahead and show you this one. SEO press. So SEO press is a plugin. I mean, really at the end of the day, what SEO press will do for you is it'll take care of all your metas. It'll take care of your schemas. It has some unique schemas built into it. I'm not here to pitch the tools. I just want to show them to you. So you know which ones they are. Try them out for yourself. A lot of times they'll have discounts, deals, Black Friday deals. They, every single one of these tools does deals, right? You can get them inexpensive. And, and that's generally one of the things that I want to see. I want them to give me a fair offer. I want it to be a fair price. I generally want the best product for the best price. You might too, right? So what I found with SEO press is they had, when I first got on using it, they had some unique schema types. They allow me to have schema on each of the pages. It's not ultra bloated. It takes care of all the basic stuff, right? And it's cheap. I can use it on unlimited sites. Awesome. And not cheap. I should say affordable. It's affordable. I could launch it on multiple sites. They're never upselling me. It's a very affordable solution that's lightweight, that does everything that I need that's basic. So that's SEO press. Now, another really great option for SEO, the metas, the schemas, and, you know, it a little bit heavier, a little bit more cost, you know, uh, cost heavy. But another great SEO plugin is all in one. All right, all in one SEO plugin. All right, now this is again been around a long time. Great tool, it's this one right here AIO. A lot more expensive, but it has a lot of the features that you would come to expect. It's great. Now, one that I get asked about a lot rank math, I dislike rank math. I don't like how it's set up. I, I don't, I think that it's 
does a lot of things that are far different from the other two, right? Like the way it's laid out, the way it's structured stuff. It's not for me, but I know a lot of people that love it. Rank Math isn't for me and Yoast isn't for me. I'd much prefer All in One or uh, SEO Press, right? And then there's other ones too. I, I see new tools all the time. Let's talk about speed, all right? A popular one, right? And this is, again, my opinion is Nitro Pack. I dislike Nitro Pack. I think it spoofs the core web vital metric. That's my opinion. I, I don't think that it's giving a true reading because when I install it, yep, it, I get I get excellent desktop ratings. But when I check mobile, it, it's not the same. I'm looking for Java, uh, JavaScript uh, deferment. I'm looking for uh, HTML minification. I need the code to be changed. Now, Nitro, Nitro Pack might have upgraded since the last time I used it. Maybe they do all that now. I don't know. But when I utilized it, the big pitch was Core Web Vitals. To me, it did really good on desktop. And yes, I aced the scores. But when I go look at the code and I look at time to first byte and I'm looking at server responses, I know server response isn't the issue, but time, time to first byte and full content painful, it, the speed wasn't there. The actual minifications weren't there. They also didn't make it relatively easy at the time for me to to compress my images to uh, WebP or JPEG 2000 or uh, a more web friendly version, right? So Nitro Pack isn't necessarily for me, even though a lot of people love it. The one that I do generally use that I really really like is WP Rocket. Now again. Going back to the motto of what I like is I like the best product for the best price. With this tool or this asset, I spend money one time per year and then I can launch it on unlimited sites. Maybe Nitro fix that. I don't know. <laughs> I've been using WP Rocket because at the time when I got on, it was a fair price. It was fast. It worked good. Their support is on point. They had an easy uh, Cloudflare integration on top of that. They had uh, ImageFi or ImageFly or whatever the case may be, much like Smush for your images. It was built right in. So I was able to take care of my image compression, change it to a, a WebP, um, and it would run fast. So WP Rocket for speed. So, so far what we've covered is <clears throat> we had our SEO plugins, our basic stuff, right? And then on top of that, now we've talked about some of the caching or speed. Now, another fan favorite that I like, a lot of people that I talk to don't like it, but I do, I do enjoy it. But if I'm going to hand off the site, right, at some point after we're done working to a client, even though I like W3 Cache and we'll upgrade and it's a fair price and, right, they have two separate options and you can do a lot. There's a lot of modifications, right? But if I'm launching W3 Cache on a say a Google Cloud server, right? There's some extra modifications that I have to do on the server. Now, if I'm using a managed server, it's no problem, but there's extra modifications if I'm using W3 Cache. On top of that, if I'm handing it to a client, it might be a little bit too complicated for them. So for ease of use, plus really good code execution, minification, JavaScript deferment, the stuff that I'm looking for, WP Rocket's what I really like, and that's what we use. Um, Again, I had no rhyme or reason. This is off the top of the head because this is stuff that I use all the time, right? Now, uh, I've gone through different iterations of themes and what's best for SEO. You know, I used to use one called Blank Slate, all right? Blank Slate is what I used to use. It was a WordPress theme. I, now, I have, even, I have no idea if it's even still updated or what it does or... For a long time, we just used Blank Slate. Uh, for a long time, another really good theme because at the end of the day for us, what I have found is WordPress can be very clunky. It's a co CMS, content management system, that's relatively clunky, okay? It's not the most efficient, <laughs> okay? It's not static HTML. The pages don't generally fly. You're not launching pages at 300, 400 milliseconds most of the time. Now, to qualm a lot of your issues, save yourself a lot of headache and a lot of dollars, what I would highly recommend is you start with the foundation, the server, right? Or, you know, now there's things like Cloudflare's cloud pages, 
where I can use those workers like an R2 bucket or I can use workers and I can serve pages really, really fast like a headless, uh, headless CMS, right? It, it doesn't, that's neither here nor there. It's semantics. But what I want to point out to you is you can qualm a lot of issues with high quality hosting. If you're using shared hosting instead of cloud hosting, or if you're using a cheaper shared host plan, I would highly recommend upgrading to whatever the top tier is that you can get. This will settle a lot of speed and difficulty issues, right? Go for a top tier. Uh, with that being said, when we're talking about themes, I used to use this one. You know, if you're, if I'm running test sites, uh, we set up a lot of test sites. We'll use either the ones that are baked into WordPress for our WordPress builds. A lot of sites are HTML, um, or, uh, say we're building something out, something new that we really like is breakdance. All right. So breakdance WordPress, uh, theme and builder. And this is actually from the fine folks at Oxygen, a gentleman that I speak to. I won't say his last name, but his name's Scott. He put me onto this. He's like, hey, Chris, I see you're using Oxygen. You like Oxygen? <clears throat> you should try Breakdance. They have a lot of the themes in the categories that I service. They have, you know, click a button, change the themes, change the color, launch it. The code executes pretty good. Now, it's not quite as good as if I wanted fine tune and have it as fast as possible as using uh, oxygen. Mind my spelling while I'm talking. It's, it, you should try it. It's quite difficult. Oxygen, oxygen WordPress builder. All right. Um, so oxygen builder has been around for quite some time. Excellent. Excellent for word, uh, for speed for WordPress. Now let's talk about the, some of the ones that I would steer clear of. There's one more that I like, I'll show you that is a good builder and it works fast because a lot of your SEO is going to be code bloat. A lot of it, we don't want a lot of stuff that's loaded and it being slowed down. And I, I don't want a lot of stuff going on. I don't want a lot of animation. I just want to be able to build a clean, fast website. Poof. That plays a lot into SEO, like what your theme is, what your builder is, what your host is, and then you get your cash in plugins and then you get your SEO plugins and you're on your way. I don't have a lot of plugins that I want to utilize. I want to use WP Rocket. I'm going to use, I'll show you another one too uh, that we really like. We're going to get a clean theme. We're going to get really good hosting and then we're going to use SEO Presser all in one. Like that's pretty much it. And I have some other plugins that I want to share with you. So stick with me here, but Oxygen, awesome. You'll love it. Now, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for everyone. They don't have a lot of ready-made themes, but if you have any type of technical know-how, but you still want to stick with WordPress, I don't know why you would, but I still do because that's what clients like. They want something easy, right? So I understand it. Um, Oxygen's a great, a great option. You can fine tune and keep things clean. Another really good one is called Blocks. Um, WordPress Builder. This thing flies. This thing flies. It's like a little rocket ship. Um, uh, Canyon's blocks this one. This is awesome. You'll really, really like this. Also, the Gutenberg, I've used Gutenberg, just like the basic Gutenberg, works really, really good. Um, Gutenberg, blocks, oxygen, um, breakdance. And then lately, what even this site too, like chrispalmer.org, very simple, yes, on purpose. And what we utilized was I was like, well, I need something for my team, but it's going to run fast, right? So it's super clean. And what we find, found was live canvas. And what makes live canvas um, very unique, well, you can read it for yourself. Um, it produces very clean code that's fast. They keep it updated. Live canvas, oxygen, blocks, what I would steer clear of is steer clear of Divi. That thing, in my opinion, my opinion, it's slow as molasses, the worst, in my opinion. <laughs> Maybe not the worst. Let's let's <laughs> let's not get too carried away here, right? Um, but it would be the last um theme or builder that I would utilize. Another one that I don't like, but I see everybody using is Elementor. Not a fan. Not a fan. I've, I've never been a fan of it. Um, I didn't find it. Um, it's easy to use, but it, it it's bloaty. It, it's thick. It's heavy. 
But I will say this, you know, I came back around the block again because I haven't used it since 2020. Uh, personally, like on a personal project, I had a great friend of mine, his name's Anthony. I had him build me out um, a page because we're launching, we have, well, we have multiple proxy uh, products coming, right? So I said, hey, will you build me out a page? And he utilized um, uh, Elementor. So I'm excited to see how that goes. So we've talked about themes. Um, let me point this out to you too. Uh, yes, these headless uh, CMSs are very, very fast, but I, you know, for, for a lot of you that may not know, it's generally tied into a, um, a host, right? So you're sitting on their server so you can use their front end. So you don't have the ability, almost all of the ready-made ones is like, it's okay. All right. If, if, if I can lock you in for a year, I'll let you use my builder on top of this fast headless CMS, right? And yes, they're lightning fast, but I, it's like, I have to use their host though. It, it, be cautious with that. That's still advancing. There's so many different, and then plus two, I have to change it here and then push it up, basically push it live to a cloud. It's not for your everyday business owner is what I'm getting at. Headless CMS is very fast, great option, but it's not for the everyday person and you're locked in and you're, you don't have the ability to go to your GoDaddy, um, which is popular or go to, um, you know, AWS for hosting or go to Google for hosting, which is what we like. We like Google. We like AWS. We like Cloudflare for hosting. You know, we like to host our stuff with the better well-known stuff, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, like the big companies, not some company you never heard of that's running a really good product that yes, it loads fast, but what's it sitting on, right? Um, so I found that interesting. Uh, so live canvas, we talked about SEO press. Um, here's some other little uh, things, plugins, all right? Uh, what we really like if we're doing bulk import, right? Is we really like a tool called bulk CSV uh, importer, right? Because you can load in your content WordPress, okay? You can load in your content and your pages with the CSV file. I can change the headers, the metas, and it works with SEO press. So with this tool right here, um, it, it could be any of them. It's a CSV importer. I can upload bulk content, bulk images, meta titles, maybe not the images unless it's an embed, uh, but it helps you out. That's another great plugin. I think it's called uh, bulk CSV importer or uh, fancy bulk WP importer. That's another plugin that's absolutely phenomenal. I can't say enough good things. Another really good thing that helps us out keeping us organized is we use Wicked folders, all right? Wicked folders um, is absolutely amazing. And, and here's why. Because let's say that you're a service-based business and you offer, I don't know, you do uh, plumbing, you do uh, drain cleaning, or better yet, this is easier for me. You're a personal injury lawyer. You do medical malpractice, you do cars, uh, you do trucks, you do pedestrian, right? Those are your services, your top level pages. You could make to each of those a folder and then you could put your cities inside of it. Let's, let me show you this. It's so good. I have to, I'm going to dive deeper. All right. Let me show you this. This will change the game. See this little folder here, a mat picture this. So this right here is all folders. And then these are your services. So this where it says buildings right here, buildings, that could be personal injury. This one right here could be medical malpractice. This could be car, car accident. This could be truck accident. This could be a uh, brain injury, right? And then inside of that could be a subfolder where you're listing your estates. And then you can have another subfolder for your cities. It keeps everything in folders. And here's where it gets even better with organization because of internal linking, because I know you've tried, there's uh, new ones out there that everyone's promoting. There's a good affiliate commission floating around, right? The juicer or some something like that. Uh, or Link Whisper. Link Whisper is great, but you have to be careful. The juicer might be great. I never used it, um, but you have to be careful. There's another one called uh, Linkio. Let me show you this really quick. Or uh, Linky Lou. Um, 
interlinking plug in for WordPress. I utilize this one. Here it is right here. This worked good. But again, with these internal linking plugins, yeah, they're cool. They're helpful. Yes, they pass juice. Yes, it's fast. Yes, it's easy. Yes, we know the power of interlinking. But man, you can really mess stuff up. What's a lot easier is setting your folder structure, right? And then utilizing something called bulk category, a uh, bulk menu creator for WordPress, all right? How these two work together is A, this is a visual aid to keep my state pages, city pages, service pages in order. So then once I have my order visually, and it's actually, of course, on the website, if you're doing a lot of states, cities, and services, then I can take my bulk menu creator and then just drag and drop each folder, and then it just creates a menu for me. Now with each menu, I can internal link in the sidebar, in the footer, a secondary footer, in the body. You see where I'm going with this? Your organization and your internal linking has just been, you're, you're sped up so much faster right? It will help you immensely. So bulk menu creator is literally, this is literally the one very inexpensive with this right here. We'll rocket ship things. Then the bulk CSV importer, get those pages in there, get images in there if they're embeds, HTML code. It's so fast. Talked about wicked folders, talked about bulk menu creator, talked about SEO plugins. Um, talked about SEO themes, talked about uh, speed plugins, talked about caching. I think I covered just about everything when it comes to, at least off the top of my head, like these are well-known things. And I've also given my opinion on other well-known things that I see getting promoted out there, but they just might not be the best for you. Yes, they have a high price and yes, they pay a good affiliate commission, but that's why they're being promoted. Be mindful business owner, all right? If you see a bunch of people talking about it, my, my pops used to tell me, follow the dollar, right? What's the point, why? I'm making this video because I know it'll get a lot of views and I could help a lot of people see, hey, what are we using, bro? So hopefully this helps you. Um, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go over and answer some questions. Uh, my name's Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. The only thing that I generally promote is myself, my services, my mastermind. If there's anything I can help you with, you can always feel free to ask in the section below. But I look forward to seeing you in the next WordPress SEO and themes video. Now what I wanna do is I wanna answer some questions. All right, let me see here. If, if you have a question or if you wanna ask like, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? If it's WordPress related themes, plugins, I'll answer that. If not, I want to make a couple quick cuts, like grab some questions. So um, my new assistants can help me make more shorts. All right. They're, they're fine tuning the shorts. They're figuring it out little by little. So I'm very, very happy with uh, who's been helping me with that. Started off a little shaky, but they are doing a phenomenal job. And I hope that you enjoy them. Some people just like those little quick clips, right? I'm a long form guy. I think these, these types of concepts take some explaining and there's not, you know, there's not a, you know, if it's a short punchy tip, that's, that's basically what I told them to put in there. Give them short punchy tips, right? So here, let me go through here. A, why any templates for Elementor that you can recommend for a service-based business? Again, like I mentioned, I'm not a fan of Elementor. I don't use it. It's not for me. Uh, but that's my opinion, right? I know a lot of guys that love it. Uh, we primarily are looking at breakdance, oxygen, uh, blocks, right? That's, that's what we like. All right. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just not for me. Good evening, Chris from Arizona. Good evening to you, L couch. Um, uh, SEL press. Yep. Great one. Never heard of live canvas. It's great. I mean, it's a, it's bootstrap five and, uh, HTML. The sites are fast. My, my site, I mean, there's, <laughs> let's get some more pages on there, but even the pages that have the embeds on them are launching in under 1.2 seconds in mobile view in lighthouse. So the pages are flying, they're flying super fast. But on top of that, I have to note that I'm sitting on a Google server. Um, 
I think I have two gigs of RAM um, on a on a on a pretty crispy Google server, so it should run fast. You know, that's another piece um, that people business owners, most notably, because they're doing their business, they don't understand my business, right? And when somebody says shared hosting, what that means is somebody, oftentimes, if it's not GoDaddy or something else, a guy like me bought a server, partitioned the server, and then allocated a piece of the CPU. That's why it's called virtual CPU or vCPU. He's allocated or partitioned a piece of the CPU to a customer, right? So you get a piece, you're, you're sitting on the same IP, IPv4, because the pool is so small. So you're sharing an IP, you're sharing a virtual core, a CPU, and then you're sharing um, oftentimes an HDD, which is subpar to an SDD, which is subpar to an NVMI, right? So you're not getting the creme de la creme plus you're sharing uh, resources. It's highly recommended upgrade whoever you're with. Even if you're with, in my opinion, a lower tier company like such as SiteGround or a Bluehost, like the ones that are just notoriously generally slow, go with their top tier. I know a gentleman right now that's using SiteGround, notoriously slow. Not my opinion. It's just what I've heard. <clears throat> um, and his sites are fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he pays for the best. That's my recommendation. You can solve so much of your WordPress, at least WordPress issues, because you can launch junk if it's static HTML. Like, you could have a very weak server or VPS or, you know, like whatever you want. If you're sharing static, it's fast, lightning fast. Um, I don't want, I digress. <laughs> I was drinking too many Red Bulls, I guess. Uh, sadly, my old multi-site has 199 plugins. I'm about to migrate from HostGator to, okay, do you use plugins for migrations or manual methods? See, for that type of stuff, in my opinion, it's worth the uh, $40 or $50 to have someone take care of it for me. I want someone to go back in there, migrate the system. You can find them on Fiverr, Dynamite Jobs, uh, Upwork. I mean, there's so many job boards now. Endless. If you type in top 10 places to find remote work, right, as a foreigner, like, Look for a job as a remote worker that's a foreigner and you will find the best places with some of the best talent I've ever found. Onlinejobs.ph is one of them. That one's well known. But if you do a search as if you're trying to get a job instead of trying to find talent, you'll find the places that they're going and you'll get good talent for a very fair price. And you can get jobs like that done for, again, if you went to five or 40 bucks. 40 bucks from a guy that's done it or a gal, a, a lady or a team that's done it 200 times. It could take you all day and then any little nuance, it's not worth the time. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not a website migrator or maybe you are, I don't know, <laughs> right? But pay the fee and that's that. That's what I would do. That's my um, best advice. Uh, typing on a cell phone, a uh, hosting or... Um, Hostinger has been doing a big push lately. I see them on um, one of my favorite uh, forums. We promote relatively heavily on um, Black Hat World. Um, you know, but not under Chris Palmer. I, I can assure you that. Uh, that would be too wide open for, um, for you know, uh, faulty things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I never put my name. We like to use uh, superheroes and stuff like that. Uh, but hosting, or I see them there all the time. All in one uh, with multi site add in may work. There you go. Wicked folders. Thank you for the ideas. Of course, my pleasure. SEO top of the morning. Top of the morning to you, sir or ma'am. And Nana, is it worth it? Migrate non CMS website to WordPress for SEO boost. I don't feel that you get any more or less of a boost by using WordPress. I don't think you get an SEO boost from going from say static HTML to WordPress. You know, in a, in a lot of senses, WordPress can be a demotion, right? 
especially if you're already up and running. You know, I, I've seen um, business owners. Let's say I worked with a dumpster rental company not too long ago. They've had a website up for maybe five, six years. It's a dumpster rental, one service. I mean, they have different sizes, but one service, one location. And the point I'm getting to is they had a GoDaddy site, suboptimal. But in their case, where they're, they were already on page two, right? They were on page two. They've been there for years. All we did was a little bit of tweaking their top five for each of their sizes in their city. They were a very happy customer. If I would have changed servers, if I would have changed CMSs, if I would have changed everything, they would have dropped, right? They... The, is the objective as a business owner to make the phone ring or to look better than the next guy, right? Because in a lot of cases, depending on the business, you like, you know, like when you're, maybe if you're an SEO, you'll look at it. But if, if you're, if your door, if my window got busted, right? My window got busted. And yes, when I went to Google business profile and I went to organic rankings, I looked at the reviews first, but when they didn't answer, I was looking for the very first person that would come that next day. I slept down here and waited till the next day because I have my equipment in here, right? I didn't care about anything. I didn't care what their website looked like. I needed that service. They answered. They sounded professional. Boom. What I'm getting at is you need visibility, <laughs> right? Um, I, I would never risk a business for a look or for a... a for a maybe. I'm only looking for a short thing. Personally, that's me. You know? So I hope that helps. I know very long-winded answers. I um the the uh the two ladies that helped me out with my uh shorts, <laughs> they're like Chris, you give the longest winded answers. Can you shorten those up? <laughs> uh but yeah. All right. Is it worth it to migrate non-CMS website to WordPress? So like I mentioned before, it's, it's not necessarily a SEO boost. You're bloating the code. You might change IP. There's a plethora of reasons. There could be a learning curve. If you're happy where you are and it's fast and it's clean, stay where you are. Never thought of getting help. I have been stuck for a couple of weeks. Uh, wicked folders. Thank you. All in one. Yeah. If there's anything that, so wait a minute. Um, yes. So riches domains. It's great to see you. Okay. Now I understand. So with that being said, um, richest domains, like, I, I, I think you were the one that asked about the migration or and having a lot of plugins like the migration always, always, always. If it's even if you go to like, here's my favorite thing with Fiverr. Here's what you do, right? Richest domains because we've talked and I know who you are. Say it was for migration. Generally, yes, you'll go for all the main stars. But what I like to do is I like to go for the newly listed like people that just got on the platform. They're willing to do a really good job really fast for really cheap. And there's new fresh people there every day trying to prove themselves. And they, they do the best job because you're their first review. Like they're going to do it fast. They're going to do it really good. And they're going to go way above and beyond. Way cheaper than everyone else. Always look for help. Go right to the open market. Fiverr, Upwork. Every, it's a race to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So... Very helpful for you. Um, during that time, luckily it was um, springtime. So no, but I where I live isn't necessarily the... Um, I never leave my doors unlocked. You know what I mean? I'm not going to leave a giant hole in my glass door or my studio. Um, <laughs> we buy gold uh, out in the front there, so... <laughs> Uh, it was fun. I stayed right in the shop here. Uh, thank you for your advice. It's my pleasure. Uh, in any case, I know it's very late. I, I did the main point here. 
uh, I want to answer a question that I received, okay? And this is a lawyer, and, and oftentimes I don't know if it's a competitor or what, right? Ah, you guys know what I like to watch now, huh? I've been watching these UFC fights. <laughs> This guy's out of his mind. Um, where is he? Ah, here we go. All right. So recently I shared with you, um, a client slash test site, right? Um, where is it? So here, so here, here's the question. All right. I think I picked it out already. All right, this will, I'll make a uh, short or, a, or maybe an entire video out of this. It depends on how well I explain the answer, right? All right, let's go ahead and answer this for this gentleman. All right. He may or may not be a competitor, um, whether it's an SEO competitor or a law firm competitor. It, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. My aim is to help. All right. So. All right. So here we go. So hello and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. In today's video, what I'd love to do is go ahead and answer a recent question that I received that was asked by a YouTube subscriber. And they asked, Chris, I see that you shown you have shown one of your clients' accounts, one of the test site clients' accounts, um, for best car accident lawyer New Orleans, right? Uh, five best New Orleans car accident lawyers. Why create a page? that lists a competitor's other law firm? Excellent question, right? And regardless of the niche or the category, right? Yes, in this case, it's law firm, but why would you do that, right? Like, why Why would I go and do that? There's a magnitude of reasons why I did it. Um, but here, let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about as far as an example. But before I do, let me share with you chrispalmer.org for all SEO needs. You know, inside of our service portal, if you click this orange button here, or this yellow button, and go down, we have a plethora of services. We're really aiming for white label service. Or if you need done for you jobs, it's at white label value, right? With that being said, if you just need a second pair of eyes or just a, someone to help you with strategy, page structuring, link building, Regardless of what it is, I know I can help you reach out with that out of the way. All right, let me share this answer with you. So again, we had a question from a subscriber or a viewer, and we have a page out here on, on a test slash friends account, uh, best car accident lawyer, New Orleans. Let's, let's see where they're at. All right. So we created a top five. Okay. Uh, did they, uh, uh, what, what did he say it was? Best car. Oh, best new, oh, New Orleans. Okay. Whatever it was. I, I forget. We, <laughs> I have quite a few projects like this, so <laughs> sorry. Bear with me here. Um, let's go down here. I thought they were like number, ah, uh, John. Okay, so it's John. So best car accident lawyer, but why would we want to put a competitor's name on the site? Why would we want to give information about a competitor? This is a great question. And yes, this is referring to a law firm, but this could be relevant for chiropractors. This can be relevant for any business, any business that has a competitor. Here's the reason why. No matter which business you look at, like real businesses, right? Uh, for instance, let's just take a competitor. If you took this, this is a competitor targeting New Orleans. No matter what your niche is, do this. 
grab a competitor, put that, put the competitor inside of a tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush. I guarantee you that their number one keyword traffic is their name, right? So I want you to think of this. There's, there's a magnitude of reasons, like I mentioned, but this is one of the main reasons. If I have a website, right? A website's value isn't based on ranking. The website's value is based on does it get phone calls? If a majority of the phone calls are coming for a brand name and the traffic is coming for a brand name and their number one keyword is for their brand name and I create a page, let's just say they're getting 500 visitors, right? It's probably more for their brand name. But all of a sudden I create a page and I start taking 100 of those. They have now dropped to 400 visitors for their name. What happens when a page no longer or starts dropping in traffic? What's happening to that page? What's happening? That's why. That's why. I'm siphoning traffic authority from the competition. I'm taking the lifeblood of a web page away. That's one reason. Another reason. And once a page loses its traffic, it's done. It's gone. Also, too, I'm now getting referral base traffic. Somebody typing in a competitor's name and choosing me as the answer. <laughs> That's another reason. Also, on top of that, for high commercial intent keywords, oftentimes Google wants to show a diversity, right? Query deserves diversity. They're also giving you mixed SERPs for high commercial intent, right? So where previously you could, you could create an article based on, let's say, for instance, a truck accident lawyer, high commercial intent. It used to just be high commercial intent. It would be truck accident lawyer plus city or city plus car accident lawyer, or it would be car accident lawyer and abbreviated state plus city, right? And that would be the whole SERP. Then Google started blending the SERPs, right? They started blending in best right? Which is actually an informational query, right? Best truck accident lawyers, uh, top car accident lawyers, neat car accident lawyers, that's sentiment, right? So when they started blending, that gave us a unique opportunity in which to get more than one page inside of a SERP. So like I mentioned before, the reason why we want to have why we would target competitors is because now I can give a clear depiction of what's going on inside of a SERP and give the end user, the customer, a, a real consensus of, hey, here's the companies and we're one of the best. We also are serving our main commercial intent keyword by having our high commercial intent keyword page in there for say truck accident lawyer plus city. But now I have best car accident lawyer. Now I'm servicing the how to. And on top of that is a triple whammy. I'm siphoning traffic from the competitor. It's a win, win, winny. <laughs> right? I saw a movie with my son not too long ago. Uh, it's called Rumble. It's about a monster and a girl and, and they had a stadium and they wrestle monsters, right? Anyway, her name's Winnie. And she's training a monster and she says, it's a win, win, winny. Hysterical. Great show. You should see it. Anyway, that's why. That's the point. That's the objective. And then on top of it, now they're what they're doing is they're coming in here. Right? Uh, and I want to point this out um, because I want Google to put the kibosh to it. So I'm going to point you to it. So now one of the new things is, is they're pointing out what is called discussions found around the web, easily manipulated, right? Uh, there's, there's negative manipulation going on inside of the discussion, right? And the main source is what Reddit. So for instance, when you're looking for, you know, uh, best truck accident lawyers, right? So not only did they pump down the um, map pack to page two, but now they've added this beautiful little section here, which is easily manipulated, right? And so oftentimes what people are doing in there is, Hey, I can go buy an account for what? 30 bucks, for a Reddit account. And then I can go and pay for upvotes. So now my question and my answer rise to the top and it gets chosen, right? So now I can paint a picture from around the web in any light I want about any company I want, really for a fraction of a, like, 
so cheap it's it's disgusting disgusting so i hope this helps you out the reason why i'm mentioning this is so you can see it you can combat it or you can join in with it but i think it's only a matter of time i think this is a test phase right um but i hope this helps you out and i hope it answers your question sir um my name is chris palmer uh you know it's three o'clock in the morning i'm done i probably can answer that question a little bit more concisely but and plus maybe i've said too much but in any case it's been a lot of fun thank you so much for your time um it's 3 a.m that's correct yes i'm going to bed <laughs> i love you guys thank you for your time uh please check us out um you know it, if you've utilized our services in the past you know we have a full staff now 11 to 3, we have a live person sitting in there. Uh, her name is Tammy. 11 to 3, Monday through Friday. That's Eastern Standard Time. Ticket systems open. During those same hours, Tammy answers the tickets. So ticketing, live support, the OVR system. I talked to Vaughn this morning. I was like, hey, what did I do wrong? Why is this OVR not working? So we'll also have a toll-free number. It's probably going to be 1-800-SERP-WIN. That's S-E-R-P-W-I-N. I'm not sure, but there's an 800 number in the bottom of the video. Vonage said that it will be on and it'll be an OVR. Hey, press one if you want to talk to sales. Press two if you want to talk to Chris. Press three. I got a, a, a gentleman with a really cool voice to say that. It sounds so cool. Anyway, um, it's been a pleasure. I, I, I love doing this. I'm, I Hopefully, I've been helpful. Hopefully, you like some of the recommendations. There's no links unless it's to me or to SEMrush or to Kyle Roof's tool, which is on pa uh, Page Optimizer. Um, and I think because I am so, I don't want to say the word addicted, but I love AppSumo so much. I, I share AppSumo with people. It doesn't, it just takes you to the homepage, right? Like I don't promote stuff. It's not my business. It's not the model that I follow. That's not what I do. You know what I mean? So uh, I hope this is helpful. It's, have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much. I love you guys and gals. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye-bye.